Hey YouTubers, here's a quick tutorial video on how to use the new uh, Remote Files app that is in the App Store now, which will allow you to play Super Nintendo games on your iPhone or uh, iPad, whatever. So here I downloaded the uh, file from the App Store, it's 99 cents, and to use it you have to have a Dropbox account, um, which I also have currently. Uh, in case you don't know what Dropbox is, it's just a online file storage system, like a cloud backup kind of thing. You get two gigs for free, it's free to sign up. So you'll need that because the uh, ROM plays off of that. So this remote file app, once you open it, as you can see here, it will give you, you have to log into Dropbox first. You have to set up a new uh, connection in the upper right corner there. And then you log into your Dropbox account. So from here you can see that I have uh, a couple ROMs that I have uploaded to Dropbox to test this. So just for example, we will uh, try one here. And all you do is touch the ROM. And then it will... Uh, launch the emulator from within that app. And I played one game here just to try it. Of course I came in fifth place because I was not actually trying to play here, but anyway, you can see that the uh, the emulator is quite smooth, it's working very well. It's based on a uh, SNES 9X uh, 1.53 version, which is a Windows-based emulator. I'm trying to play with one finger here, pardon me. But uh, the performance is very good, scaling is good, everything is working flawlessly here. Um, you can also play it in uh, landscape, which is a little easier. It will give you access to see the, uh, the buttons cover the screen a little bit, but it gives you a little bigger picture. So you can do it in portrait and half screen there. And there's a little menu here, there's a couple options. You can uh, reset games, load your state, save a state, and it's got a, oops, sorry about that, a few settings here as well. Uh, scaling, full screen, frame skipping, and then uh, there's the actual app name, Remote File Manager, and based on SNEX 9X version 1.53. So, so far I've just tried it with a couple ROMs, it was working very well, so I highly recommend it, uh, especially with iOS 7 coming out if you are on a jailbroken device and you're going to lose that if you decide to upgrade to iOS 7, so at least this will give you your emulators back and you will not lose them forever. So that's it, pretty simple, all you have to do is create a Dropbox account if you don't have one, log into it and then launch the ROM from Dropbox and it will automatically launch the game for you and uh, you are good to go. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I will get back to you as soon as I can. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.